Storm Eleanor track live watch here as Storm Eleanor smashes into the UK today. The animated wind map, from windy.com, above shows the current location of Storm Eleanor as it bears down on Ireland and the UK. The storm's powerful winds are forecast to lash the UK from 6pm as it wreaks havoc across the Republic of Ireland and heads towards Northern Ireland. The Met Office has warned that flying debris could cause injuries, while the storm could also cause train cancellations, bridge closures and power cuts. The Environment Agency, EA, has issued 56 flood alerts across the entire country, with more serious flood warnings in place in central England. Met Office meteorologist Aidan McGivern said, on Tuesday evening, the strongest winds will be wrapped around Eleanor's low pressure as she moves across from Northern Ireland into Northern England and Southern Scotland. The storm is going to bring gusts of 80 miles per hour near the coast and the westerly winds combined with high tides could bring large waves crashing into coastal areas, in particular along the Cumbria coast. Elsewhere in the country and inland there will be gusts of up to 60 miles per hour and an intense spell of rainfall will move across England and Wales on Tuesday evening. The Met Office has issued a yellow warning for wind from 6 p.m. on Tuesday until 6 p.m. on Wednesday. The area covered by the warning includes all of southern England, northern England up to Newcastle and northern Ireland except for the northern part of the country. The warning said, Store Melliner to bring very strong winds later Tuesday, continuing overnight and on Wednesday. The warning has been adjusted to bring the northern boundary southwards, and to combine with the warning previously in force for Wednesday. Public transport may be disrupted or cancelled and some bridges are likely to be closed. Power cuts and disruption to other services, mobile phones for example, may also occur, while injuries from flying debris are possible. By the start of Wednesday, the storm will be in the North Sea. But Wednesday will be another windy day. Mr. McGivern said, those winds bringing in frequent heavy showers, and thunder as well, and continuing to pile up the waves, particularly in North Devon, and North Cornwall could cause impact to coastal communities here and the wind continuing to cause disruption to transport and power supplies. Even though there is a yellow warning in place. The storm will not affect everyone in the same way and within the warning area, there is the biggest risk of impact rather than a guarantee of impact. The storm has been named by the Irish Meteorological Service, Met Iron, and is the fifth named storm of the season. The other storms which hit the UK this season were Storm Eileen, Brian, Carolyn and Dylan.